man, this is very touching. This is the only high school graduate I'm uh, graduation I'm doing this year, and and this is this is a special treat for me. I actually went to a school just like this one when I was your age. Um, I grew up on the south side of Chicago, and as I made my way through the south side, <laughs> south side, south side, you can find them everywhere. But as I made my way through elementary school, because we didn't have junior high, my number one goal was to go to a high school that would push me and challenge me. I wanted to go somewhere that would celebrate achievement, a place where academic success wouldn't make me a target of teasing or bullying, but instead would be a badge of honor. It seemed like every paper was life or death. Every point on an exam was worth fighting for. Yeah, a lot of head shaking there, a lot of faculty. You're sick of them lobbying you for some extra points, aren't you? My whole identity was bound up in checking those boxes, winning every award I could. And I was good at it, too. So I thought I had everything I needed to get ahead. But graduates, I just want to share something with you that I learned. I learned that I, I had it all wrong. Yeah, wouldn't be the first time. But everything I was so concerned about, the grades, the test scores, the worries about which schools my friends were getting into, all of that stuff was far less important than I'd always thought. Because when I got to college, it turned out that I needed an entirely new set of skills to earn my degree. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that grades aren't important. I'm just saying that they're less important than what you learn and what you're made of. So graduates, first thing I want you to know, I want you to think about the importance of the community that you have here at MLK, because it seems like a very special bond that you all have. You've got your friends here at school. You've got great teachers. You, when you go home to your family, you've got parents and siblings who know you inside and out. But just understand that when you go to college, that's all gone. So you're really going to have to work to recreate that community. Uh, the beautiful thing about college is that you get to start with a clean slate. And while it might take a little time, I guarantee you that you will find friends that will let you be the person you always wanted to be. But now we need you to make the most of these wonderful opportunities that you've been given, because it is not enough just to make it to college. We need you to complete college. We need you to finish hard and strong and be great leaders. That is your responsibility. That's your next job. And I want you to start by figuring out how you're going to create that new community for yourself. I want you to start with keeping that passion for learning burning strong. I want you to start with understanding that when challenges come your way, all you've got to do is dig deep like you've been doing, like you know how, and find a way to come out on the other end stronger. As Dr. Martin Luther King himself once said, you don't get to the promised land without going through the wilderness. But graduates, if you remember all of the wonderful lessons that you've learned here at MLK, if you keep acting like a royal, and thinking like a boss, then believe me, I am confident that there is no promise you can't realize. And there is no telling how bright your futures will be. So congratulations again, graduates. We are all so proud of you. You have done it. Godspeed. We love you. Work hard. Stay true. God bless.